the game is like it's just the transition from day to night is so great they're both wait replenish oxygen Did I use that to give myself some oxygen? I didn't know you could do that either. That's fucking awesome. So if you're really screwed, you've got two ways to, to help yourself. Was it like that in the other game too? That's, that's this item's fucking awesome. <laughs> okay, so we got the sea glide. Beautiful. The Sea Glide is a personal transportation device used for high speed free diving. Contains a built in light and map. Mm hmm. Let me rearrange this stuff now. I think I had the Sea Glide on four. It's kind of what I got used to. Put the uh, flashlight on six. Let's see if I can remember all of those. I kind of want to switch these. Scanner is like the thing I'm going to use the most aside from the sea glide. Well, I got used to the sea glide being on four. I really want to build. So the habitat builder is the main thing that I want to focus on next. Although having the compass is good too. So let's, let's build that. Remove this. So the crystalline sulfur is really what we need to find. Oh, that's a repair tool. I don't have the habitat builder on here. Yeah, like. Oh, and you can rearrange them. Oh, that's awesome. Repair tool is not a very big deal because I don't have anything to repair right now. Make some more cured. Wait, I can cure the cured Arctic peeper? Oh no, I'm making, <laughs> what am I talking about? I'm making, I'm making cured Arctic peeper. Forget it. We have the sea glide now, so we I think it's best for us to go out to the base. That's the cured. So we've got two we've got two cured. We've got a bunch of nutrient blocks. I need more water. Hmm. We're probably going to find some there, though, but just in case. I should. OK, I got to put the creature egg in here. I would like to play. I didn't spend like any time messing around with the creature eggs in the first game. I want to do that more in this one. Okay. Get some more bladder fish water. Oops. Kind of awkward to reach all the way across the keyboard. for those numbers.
Bladderfish are way easier to catch than the peepers. That should be good. Oh, why am I not using this? I'm not really a big fan of the map. You can just toggle the map this time. You don't have to use the different modes. This is great. I'm having the best time. Not, that might have sounded like I was being sarcastic. I'm not. I'm actually having the best time. <laughs> Sometimes my uh, delivery is a little dry. That was so much better. All right, let's go. Turn the lights off. Yeah. I wonder if that actually saves power. You guys can answer that one. Like, like, is it really a big, a big difference? Oh, okay. I can maybe I'll scan this dude. Shh. I want to be quiet. Oh, that, that might be a friendly, dude. Harmless. Two sets of wings like fins enable this ray to quickly change directions and accelerate. Like other rays, it is exclusively herbivorous. Or er, er, herbivorous. I don't know why I read this stuff first and then go back, but... Well adapted to a low temperature environment. I guess that the first description part is usually pretty redundant. Just basically just describing what you see. I'm going to save inventory space because I think we're going to find a bunch of stuff that we want when we get there. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Yeah! <laughs> it looks like they kind of charge straight ahead. Um, and then they kind of exhaust themselves. Equipment tech. Is it under research? Research? Root shark. Common shark-like predator with low intelligence. It got me. So what does that say about my intelligence? It's relatively streamlined. It's relatively streamlined body enables fast navigation of tight spaces. Yellow turquoise coloration provides camouflage in shallow waters. That's what it is. It was camouflage. I didn't see it coming. Slow moving. It ambushes small fish from above. Minor threat. Oh, right. They're carnivores. The, the penglings. Does it say about the bladder fish? Edible oxygen may be retrieved from the bladder and added to tanks on consumption. Membrane has applications as natural water filter. Edible. Okay. Wait, what is this? What's going on around me? What is that? Oh, I'm getting cold. <laughs> that makes sense. That was, that was bizarre. It looks like we're into another biome. Oh, there's a big guy. Oh, God. It's happening. This is where we're going to find the sea truck. I think this is our last. Looks like we healed, so we do heal over time. Maybe by eating? We got a power cell. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Yes! Classic. Oh, so many, so many blueprints. Oh, look at this.
Uh, these chimney-shaped structures are formed from dissolved minerals pushed upward through the planet's crust. Just getting some air here. The presence of metal sulfides gives the escaping material its dark, opaque appearance. Aquatic life found in proximity may have evolved adaptations to the presence of these toxic compounds. Long-term exposure to geothermal emissions may pose a risk to human health. Oh. I wonder if they're, like... I wonder if it's less safe to build a base around these now. That's basically all I did was use geothermal power in the first Subnautica. What's your story, buddy? Radiant uh, sieve coral? How do you pronounce that? Light emitting plant is reminiscent of a sieve or colander. Looks like it's got something there. I guess that's the light part. So... I was thinking maybe this is where I would find... Sulfur? Crystalline sulfur? Should I put a... Oh, look at this. Whoa! Oh, shit! Oh, what is that? All right. Let's put a bacon here. Mineral rich crevices detected below. Geothermal activity detected. Caution advised. Okay. Uh, so like this will be a crevice area. I should go up. Ah, there we go. We got our first view. Cool. Should put this away. I think I have another bacon, right? I only built one. Oh, what's that? That looks neat. I'm very curious. <laughs> I grab you? A feather fish. New creature discovered. Feather fish is common is a common species that lives in various biomes. Its coloring is distinct but also functional. The bright white on the belly of the fish helps keep it safe from predators below, blending in with sunlight coming through the surface of the water. Okay, I'm curious. It's really close, that thing. Oh, shit. I don't know if I want to mess with that dude yet. What's this? It even looks like silver, which is great. This is like a mineral rich. Oh, I could see stuff down there. What am I doing? I should be using the sea glide. Okay, it's not killing me. With the um. Okay, this is definitely a way down. I'm really surprised that, surprised I haven't found sulfur yet. Gold, yes. What's this? Nothing special. OK, 
Okay, we're there. Oh man, the, I love the light coming through the water. I'm getting the sense that like maybe the area to explore is smaller. Not so it's not such a vast game like the first one. generator yeah I figured we'd find uh, find lots of water and food coffee vending machine finally oh I'm gonna really need to be concerned about my temperature here eh Do we, can we construct a suit that keeps us warmer? You can build a fucking sea truck! Yeah! That's awesome. Wait, do I have the mobile construction vehicle platform thingamajig? I don't have the mobile vehicle bay yet. Okay, well, on the way back, we'll find it. If not here. name. So this is the beacon that we saw. This is a recorded message. If you can hear this, you're trespassing. If you know it's good for you, you'll get the hell out of here. Oh man, look at that. That's not a good sign. Fred, I'm not blaming you, but what do you mean it's gone? Where did it go? You found some trouble somewhere in the deep twisty bridges and decided to jettison modules? Yeah, I had to jettison a module. I got free, went back for it, and it was just gone. And you think someone stole it? Or something. I didn't lose it, that's for sure. I'm careful with my tools. I'm sure you are, but you have to admit there have been a lot of sea truck accidents and they're rather expensive. You want to follow me on a few runs tomorrow? See what it's like? Conditions are way harsher than anything I ever imagined. Of course he doesn't. I don't know if you could really understand it from inside your base. That won't be necessary. Thanks for your time. I'll write it up as an accident. You actually have to get deeper to get warmer, eh? Is there another storm? Maybe this isn't the best time to be exploring this area. The sea monkeys would have grabbed that that piece. I think we actually saw. We might have seen where they where they took it. In fact, I guess we're gonna go up there. I I don't. Is this smart? Oh. Ah, hot spring. We've got these two. Can scan them finally. Okay, I can't. I can't read that. The thermal lily is an unusual terrestrial plant typically found on cliff walls. During the day, it points its face toward the sun, absorbing thermal radiation and storing it internally. At night, the thermal lily's petals close to reduce heat loss, and it relies on its heat stores to survive the harsh Arctic conditions. That is such a cool... It's, it's a simple design, but that's so cool! I'm going to be taking pictures of everything. Oh, look at the light, too. And it follows you. I love it. I've, I've just had a smile on my face the entire time. I'm 
want to do a good, good solid look around. Hey, buddies. <laughs> They're so awesome. Ah. Essential for advanced fabrication. Sulfur is a highly reactive non-metallic element, usually found in abundance underground. Common applications include production of acidic compounds and combustibles. Beautiful. Maybe I should put the flashlight on seven because I keep hitting that. We need to look at the side of hot springs, it seems. Oh, man. Wonder how these guys keep warm. Oops. Blue scrub br uh, brush. In the hollow leaves are chambered pores which capture and store the sun's heat. They just, they're answering all my questions here. The blue scrub brush, uh, brush is an unusual plant for this climate, unlike other plants that manage to thrive in extreme cold, which typically grow close to the ground and lack leaves to prevent moisture loss. The blue scrub brush, I don't know why I'm having trouble saying that, is tall with a fur-like leaf. I should save the game. It just occurred to me. Uh, just in case something happens, something really bad happens here. I don't want to see what this looks like. Is the sun rising over there? Oh, it might have been behind us. Oh, that's creepy! Our <laughs> shadow! <laughs> I was like, there's someone there! No! See, I see something. I think I have to go around. I know, I know you're getting cold. Hmm. Looks like I can go around. Okay, we're going to be able to go around. Just not sure exactly where. Those are so pretty. Oh, look, one of the petals. Oh, no. Okay. I thought maybe one of the petals was broken off of that one. I mean, we can't see too, too far. That's where we started. It's always so damn foggy. Okay, cool. We're getting to the facility. Or the antenna, at least. Wait, I saw something. Let's get to some warmth here. Ah, uh, the honeycomb fungus. Oh, should I attack this? Do anything. Definitely need that. Emmanuel's special request. Emmanuel gave me this jail broken scanner tool thing and said, I need more shower heads. It should lead you to the necessary minerals. What? He also told me to keep it on the down low. 
shower heads. Okay. I guess this is what a master's certificate in applied geology gets you these days. A job as a glorified construction worker. Ugh. I should have studied interstellar law, like Dad said. I have to hand it to Emmanuel, though. I don't know what he did to the scanner, but it does a great job at zeroing in on specific, on specific minerals. It's better than ho uh, hopping... Hopping... Hoping I stumble across the right outcroppings. I like it too, Emmanuel. Good job, buddy. You moved up in my books there. Huh. I think this is the way to that spot that I wanted to get to. Is this where he came in? <laughs> Never mind me. Just lost as always. That's weird. I saw, thought I saw something to scan there. We're back to where we were. Okay. I need as much of that as I can get. Seems this is the only place I found where it where it is, so. Oh shit! Stop <laughs> right there, Altera. You're out of bounds. Oh my god! I'm not with Altera. Then your position is doubly precarious. What do you mean? If you're telling the truth, you're out of your mind. If you're lying, there'll be hell to pay. Wait! Who are you? Stay off my land. That scared the living shit out of me. <laughs> the woman in the exosuit has been traced as far as my technology will allow. She said, It would appear I'm far less alone on this planet than I had anticipated. Signal location uploaded to PDA. I think we just coughed, eh? That scared the living hell out of me. Vital signs stabilizing. Mm. Mm. So she jumped into there. Is this cons she's telling us to stay off of her property, but aren't we just going to run into her property to explore it anyways? A little bit confused by that. If she wanted to protect her property, why, why didn't she stay here and tell us to leave? I guess we'll find out. <laughs> 